Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Rail Fine. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Some spicy news in Louisiana, as we ha, as we have the glamorous, glamorous. I love I love when the pedophiles are glamorous. It's just it's just kind of funny in a not a ha ha funny, but oh my goodness kind of way a glamorous female mayor because it's not just teachers doing all the predation on the young boys as an aside subscribe to me on rumble rumble video is where you will find all of my videos when i make these videos youtube gets very mad at me and they call this harmful content they call this what i'm doing what you're watching they call it hate content they say sean listen buddy you do hate content, this video, so you'll never be monetized on YouTube. But I like this content. My audience, my good smelling audience likes this content. So Rumble actually is like pretty, pretty cool. So follow me there and on Twitter because just because just do it. So glamorous female mayor, 42 years old. That's two years older than me. I know you don't believe it because look at how handsome and youthful this face looks. Just, I'm starting to get the grays right here. Right, right, right in here. I don't know. Kind of right. Anyways. Mayor, 42 years old, who suddenly and mysteriously resigned last week, has now been charged with child rape. <laughs> uh, child rape is not funny, so don't laugh at it. But it's just it, it is kind of funny how how this woman randomly, suddenly, quietly, mysterious, out of the blue, just quits her mayor job when it's all going well. People are like, uh, what the hell? What's going on here in our little Louisiana town? Surprise, child rape. A former Louisiana mayor who abruptly resigned from her role has been charged with the rape of a juvenile while in office. I mean, holy cow. I mean, it, it is one thing to be raped by your teacher. You know, position of trust and authority. But to be raped by your mayor. That's like a whole degree worse. Misty Roberts Clanton, former mayor of DeRitter, Louisiana announced her resignation last week and was arrested on Thursday of accusations of sex with a minor. Again, that's child rape. Now, I do want to point out that Misty Roberts Clanton, the former mayor of DeRitter, is 100% innocent until she is found guilty. That's the way the justice system works. It's supposed to be that way for a very good reason. Maybe they'll find out that this wasn't a minor at all, and she, she's, I don't know, cheating on her husband, and, and that's the end of that, or something. I don't know. But innocent until proven guilty. That, that's the caveat that we should probably put in there. So she was literally just arrested on this. And, um, yeah, you know, in the interest of fairness. Louisiana State Police said in a news release on a Thursday that Clanton, 42 years old, had sexual intercourse with one juvenile victim while employed as mayor. The agency's special victim unit, dun dun, or whatever the law and order sound is, um, said investigators spoke with two juveniles who confirmed Clanton had sex with one of them. Pop said, "What? She? So the the police talked to, to two young boys." And the, the two young boys both confirmed that she banged one of the boys, I guess. It was probably like, high five, look at this. Look at this photo. And the other boy was like, whoa, me curtains or something. I don't know. On Thursday, Clanton turned herself in and was booked into the Beauregard Parish Detention Center on charges of third degree rape. All right, over an hour later, she was released on a $75,000 bond with her attorney 
Adam Johnson saying in a statement that she was innocent. Well, I mean, I mean, um, a crime like this, uh, it's kind of like a you did the crime or you didn't do the crime. Like there's there's very few, almost no defenses for it. Like, yes, I did the crime, but I'm not guilty kind of thing, right? Like, oh, he lied about his age. You know, sometimes that works. If she were like, oh, he lied about his age. I asked him his age, and he said he was 18. And then I looked at him, and I'm like, you seem younger than 18. Do you have some ID? And then he presented to me ID, and I verified his ID that he was 18. And then I thought, he just had a young face, I guess. That would be a defense. They'd be like, oh, okay, you, you, you've tried to verify or, or whatever, right? But this was, did you do the kid or not? The, I was feeling lonely and my husband is working and I'm a mayor and oh my God. And this kid came in with his 13 year old dick game. And I was just like, oh my God, I'd have to have it. I was so lonely. What am I going to do? It's not, that's not a defense. It's not going to, it's not going to cut it. So anyways, her lawyer, Adam Johnston says, uh, it is my honor to represent Misty Roberts. My client learned late last night of a warrant despite not being contacted to be interviewed prior to investigators obtaining the warrant, as if that means anything, they don't have to. They don't have to give you a courtesy. You're a child rapist from their perspective. They don't have to do anything for you. It doesn't matter whether or not you're the mayor. They don't have to, to be like, oh, we'd like to have a conversation about a possible child rape that you did. What, and give you a heads up notice so you could flee? No, they don't have to do that. They 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 had everything that they needed. They got the warrant. They went in and they arrested you. That's all they have to do. So this whole thing, you know, despite not being, con you don't have to be. That's that's some hoity toity bullshit he's saying right there. Carrying on though, my client maintains her innocent, and as it stands, she is in fact innocent. <laughs> Maybe it's it's possible. Did she did she bang the kid or not? She's going to she'll she's going to have to be like, yes, I did or no, I didn't. She has not been charged with a crime and or convicted of any crime. Uh, third. What what did we just say here? Third degree. Charges. Of third degree rape. She has been charged with crime. Third degree rape. But not convicted. Right. Innocent until proven guilty. And we trust the public will respect her constitutional presumption of innocence, which is fundamental to our system of justice. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't live in the same world that we do. He doesn't live in the same world that we do. Like, I mean, you know, Dr. Disrespect is a hundred percent guilty despite nobody knows anything about what actually happened, right? Uh, Mr. Beast is 100% guilty, despite nobody really knowing 100% of everything, although that story looks pretty bad. Um, it's just, that, that's the way it sort of goes now. I mean, what do you want? What do you want from me? Misty and her family are very grateful for the support they have received from their friends and neighbors, and we look forward to putting this unfortunate situation behind them. Yes. It's so unfortunate that your client decided she was going to spread her legs and have a child dive in. Last week, just last week, Clanton said she would be away from the office for two weeks and appointed a mayor on Friday before resigning the next day. In her resignation letter, she said, for nearly 15 years, my love and passion for little boys, I mean, De Ritter, has been my foundation while serving as mayor. I will forever be proud of what we have been able to accomplish together. This role has rewarded me with many great relationships, especially little boys. I mean, just great relationships. I have humbled, or I am humbled, to have witnessed the hard work that took a community to come. To come together and overcome through unprecedented times. However, I must adjust my focus and priorities because I'm going to jail. I, I, I added that last bit. 
please accept this letter as my formal resignation effective today. To the residents of this city, thank you for your trust, love, and support in me to lead our city into our future greatness. My love for the Ritter will never waver. Yeah. And she threw it all away. This is the point that I make in, in my videos when, when teachers do it because they're always young. They're always pretty. They always they 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 have little children, or they they're just married, or you know, a whole life is just ahead of them. And they throw it all away because they want some 13, 14, 50 year old, uh, fifteen year old dick game. They're like, oh, this fifteen year old dick is gonna be so great. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not gonna be. No, I was fifteen once. I can tell ya. Tell ya. I wouldn't have been able to make some 42-year-old mayor happy. <laughs> she would have been like, what? I'm getting arrested for this? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. And you, and you should be. Planton was in the middle of her second term as the municipality's mayor, winning re-election with 60% in 2022. Okay. All right. That's that. And uh, I don't know. Thank you for watching this ridiculous video of of the glamorous female mayor 42 who suddenly and mysteriously resigned last week is now being charged with child rape not too often the headline says child rape so big in the title like that that's actually kind of impressive usually it's like has relationship with or is is fondly intimately stroking their whatever I'm like it's rape. Has sex with. Like, it's rape. Why do you got to flowery with the language? Why do you got to do that? Anyways, follow me on Rumble. Do that. That's the most important thing. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>